Good morning, LMP, and welcome to our 20th show of the school year for April 9th. In today's show, we will take a look at the two different sports here, but first, the spring musical LMP is right around the corner. Hi, LMP. It's Mr. Carter, director of You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, which is going to be on April 17th and 18th in the gym. As far as successes thus far, as far thus far, that doesn't make sense. One of the most successful things that we've accomplished with the production thus far has been the collaboration uh, across the three different schools. Well, what do you mean, Mr. Carter? Well, I feel as though we have successfully utilized students from the lower school, middle school, and upper schools. And by utilizing all three schools, we are providing a collaborative effort amongst this school, which I have not yet done. So I'm very excited and looking forward to making this event really come to life throughout our school. So it's a full school musical, not to be confused with high school musical. Hi, I'm Emily Williams, and I will be playing the part of Linus, the little dude with a blanket, in the musical, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. I feel like this show is going to be very successful because it's hilarious, relatable, it's, you know, just overall very, very entertaining, and it's just a very big flashback to the childhood. It definitely, it's a blast of the past, I'd say, a trip down memory lane. I don't know, but it's going to be fantastic, and we've been working very, very hard on it lately, and we just hope that you'll come by, take a gander, look at us. Thanks. Remember, everyone, to make sure you come out and support the drama department. Next, we'll have a look at the archery team and try to show you why this is an upcoming sport and what goes into the mind of the archers. The advantages of participating in archery allow students who aren't actually the biggest, strongest, tallest, or fastest to compete at the same level using the same types of equipment and the same types of form and style for their shooting techniques, allowing them to compete on an even field to determine who's the best. There are a lot of advantages to take archery here at LMP. You have the opportunity to come out, you get to compete against yourself, learn to focus, learn a meditative kind of a, a stance out on the archery range, compete and be outside all the time. Um, shooting against players at other schools, I honestly just I like to learn from their own techniques and how they shoot because a lot of them have been shooting a lot longer than me and I'm just really excited to get to work with other archers. When I'm playing against another player from another school, I don't really have that much going through my mind. Um, yes, I'm a little nervous, but it's better to keep a blank mind than to worry about the person next to you. Really on my mind when I'm shooting against somebody from another school is I don't really worry about what they get. I worry about what I'm doing. The main thing that's going through my head when I'm up on the line is how well I'm doing and if I can best my own personal score because I'm not really concerned how the opponent's doing because in archery you're really competing against yourself to see if you can best your own personal score rather than trying to compete against somebody else. They think that it's really quiet and boring, almost like golf, where not, not you know, being mean to golf, but it, they think it's not as com like competitive and you don't think that you have as much fun. You think you're kind of going onto the line quietly and shooting and going off. And really, you're not. It's a lot more of a, like a team sport atmosphere and there's a lot more competition. And it's a lot more exciting than something, than, than most people think, I guess. One of the biggest misconceptions people have about the sport is that, um, that it's not competitive, that you're just out there and you're just you're on your own really, when really it's just as competitive as basketball or football or another sport like that. Some of the advantages of shooting archery on the team here at LMP is to allow you to have an opportunity to really compete against yourself and have an opportunity to stay focused, 
come out and be outside, have a good time. Some of the reasons to come out for archery, you get to be a part of a team and you get to be a part of a family. We have a great time, we're supportive of each other, and we really have a strong connection on the range and off. Prom is this weekend, and who are you taking? Gig goes around campus to find out who is your dream prom date in this week's question of the day. Mr. Bill, who's your dream prom date? Well, my first choice would be, of course, me. But if I'm taken, I guess it'd have to be Brian Gary. Oh, mm. you have to go with uh, Brian Gary. Why? He's just such an attractive male. And he's always been my role model from GNN. Who would be your dream prom date? Uh, I'd have to say Kevin Hart. Why? Because I know if I got into a fight, he would back me up. Austin, what's your dream prom date? I'm going to have to go with BJ, a.k.a. Brian Gary. Why exactly? So you can drive me in his nice car. I'm here with Michael Eastman. Who's your dream prom date? I'll stand by you. I'll stand by you. Brian Gary. Why? He's just so good at what he does. Who would be your dream prom date? Bill. Why? <laughs> <laughs> what would be your dream prom date? My dream prom date would be Mr. Bill. Jerry. Austin and Allie. Yeah, that's my Why exactly? Oh, uh, well, you know, Mr. Bill, just, he's always in my mind. And uh, Jared. <laughs> Jared's just Jared and Austin. Austin's okay. And Allie. Allie's cool. Please stay tuned for Griffin Center, but first, these messages, including information of summer camps offered at LMP. Hi, I'm Marcus Gray, Executive President of the SGA, and I have some exciting announcements concerning the future of student government. With elections coming up soon, it's important to understand the new changes the SGA has put into place for next year. First, there will be no titled positions for grades 9 through 12. Instead, you will be electing three class representatives who will be known as such to participate in the SGA. Given the small size of our school and the various other commitments that students tend to make, this structure will be smaller in size and more flexible. The incoming executive office will be expected to work with these representatives by forming unique committees for different projects, like the homecoming committee, fundraising committee, and etc. Second, the executive office will mostly remain the same. However, the secretary will absorb the responsibilities of the treasurer and a new position is going to be available. This position will be known as the director of communications whose job will be to manage SGA social media, document SGA functions, and overall maintain the SGA's online presence. Third, like last year, people will not be allowed to formally run on a ticket even though candidates may advertise together. Ultimately, everyone is going to be elected individually. After listening to feedback from current SGA members and evaluating the SGA's role at LMP, we think these changes are both exciting and necessary to making a more efficient, student-centered, and democratic SGA. If you are interested in running for office, please come to the candidates' meeting this Thursday directly after school for more information. Campaigning for executive office will begin, begin next week, and campaigning for class representatives will begin directly the week after. We hope to see lots of you there. Thanks for watching.
everybody. I'm sorry for the lack of Griffin Center in the past two weeks, but we've been working on a lot more segments and ideas for Griffin Center in the upcoming weeks. However, today we have a very special lacrosse team highlight video from none other than Jared Harden. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Jared Harden, and this week we are going to be taking an inside look at this year's girls varsity lacrosse team. The best memory, I would say, is probably driving an hour and a half to Melbourne, I think it was, to almost not have a game because they had scheduled another team. But we were able to play that team, and then they had another game right after, but it was fun, just kind of joking around and driving an hour and a half to almost not play. <laughs> um, we've really learned how to play lacrosse. I think since last year more than just be athletes, um, we're learning a lot more like stick skills and like shooting techniques and also we've kind of just grown as a team. Even though we have middle schoolers on the team, we, I think they integrate really well with high schoolers and it's a lot of fun. We know our goalie Hannah Zavodny, she is number six in the country and number five in Florida, which is huge. I mean, last year she got 50% of her saves, which is also huge. Um, and Nina Karlinski is number, I believe she's in the top 25 in Florida or in the country. Wanted. Something great like that. She's a great player. But um, no, we've definitely improved like crazy amounts last And we're going to continue to improve and we're definitely going to show other teams our Griffin Pro. My short term goals are to just improve everyone's stick skills and be a better, more teamworky kind of team. I would say my long term goals, I would like all of our games next year to be varsity and that's kind of a, the long term goal of being in a district. Right now we're an independent team. Uh, we're not in a district, we don't get to go to playoffs or anything like that. So long term I would like to get the team to that level where we can be at playoffs and really compete at that level. Uh, we were coming home from an away game and I think we stopped at McDonald's or something and I didn't have my wallet with me so I didn't get any food and then Nina just handed me a burger and I guess they messed up. Uh, well we definitely have been playing more like a team, we're not depending on one person so much. Um, everyone, everyone's scoring, everyone's making assists, everyone's taking the ball away, uh, we're passing the ball a lot better. Um, and just the overall feel of the team, we feel more team-like. We don't feel kind of like clustered or clicky anymore. It's a, it's a nice feel. Um, we, we do like win more this year than we have in past years, and we've scored a lot more goals total as a team than we have in any other year, so that's always a good thing. So next year, we definitely um, we want to take what the team has gotten together this year, and we want to bring it on next year because let me tell you, the teams we played this year did not see what was coming. We definitely showed them who was boss. We uh, stepped it up a lot and I want to keep that going throughout next year. A lot more conditioning, blood, tears. I would have to say that as a team we should try to compete more with the public school teams because we're able to win some games but the public school teams we play are definitely the harder teams. So hopefully we'll be able to keep up with them more. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed Jared's video. Make sure to stay tuned next week for the lower school edition of Griffin Center and followed by that, the last couple Griffin Centers. Remember, sports end earlier than school. I'm Casey Wright and this is Griffin Center. That is our show for today. Please tune in next week for a special lower school edition of GNN and our very special senior show on April 30th. For GNN News, I'm Abby Harley and stay classy, LMP.